guess? Well, a lot of things. Uh, you know, we've, we've got to get ready quickly for uh, Oregon State, a big physical team. Um, so it'll be a, a tough opening round game. Um, they won against Arizona State, and we're coming off a win, so it's two teams uh, feeling good. So it'll be, a, it'll be a tough game. Their size always gives us problems. Well, you just try to keep him from really going off. He's a great scorer, and, and we're not going to stop him. Uh, we just got to slow him down a little bit and not give him a lot of easy looks. Uh, they run a lot of things for him, so he's going to get shots up. You just got to make sure you don't make him easy shots because uh, he can hit tough ones. If he gets easy ones, then and he's really a handful. Okay, the last question here. How do you feel about your chances of the NCAA tournament as you head to Vegas? Oh, I don't know. Um, you know, we've, we've done okay. Um, from what they tell me, our computer numbers are good and everything. So, you know, I'd like to think we're in decent shape. But, uh, you know, you just go play the next game and hope you continue to, to play well, improve. All right, everyone, thank you. Appreciate that. Well, that's 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 a big factor. You know, you if if you're going to win four games, uh, you know, guys got to step up, and you got to have minutes out of a lot of different people. And uh, fortunately, I think we have that. You know, you've seen Wave and Ben step up the last couple games. Really gives you, you know, reason to be optimistic there. And uh, we know Jaleel can give us some minutes. So uh, no, we feel like our depth is one of our strong parts uh, of our team and and uh, if we're to be successful in this tournament it'll be a big factor. How do Wave and Ben's improved play change the match against their size? Well you know it, it remains to be seen because they're, they're big at a lot of positions you know it's just not uh, Angus inside you know Collier's big and Moreland's big so they're, they're big at a lot of spots and uh, uh, so you got to match up with all of them, you know, so Wave's just part of that, Ben's just part of that, uh, Mike's going to have to play good, Dot, you know, and Jason are a little undersized to be guarding Moreland, but they're going to have to play well. With Jason leading the way, generally you guys have been able to outscore the opposition off with your bench scoring most matchups. What do you feel about defensively, though? How, how do you go at the defense and get off the bench? Well, you know, when, when Ben gives us that big spark that he gave us the other day, and uh, D.A. defensively has been solid off the bench. Um, Jaleel's a very good defender off the bench. And so, no, I, I think that defensively we're okay there. I don't think we give up a lot. D.A. Yeah, struggled on offense, 30% from the field. Can you put a finger on what? I, I, I just really in, think so. I do. I think that's, you know, he, he wants to be a – player he wants to play well and and uh, he's just putting tremendous pressure on himself and and that's tough you know he, he goes in at critical times you know and he's at a critical position he's got the ball in his hands all the time and when you're pressuring it's it's tough you talked about so many guys in this team that's a hallmark of guys accepting their roles how has he accepted his role in this well it's it's now? been really tough on him he's a competitor you know and he wants to play but he's showed a lot of character. He's been very supportive of John. He's been very supportive of his teammates. Uh, you know, he's he's done a great job handling it. But no, I, he's he's not happy with it. He's a competitor. He he wants to play better. He wants to help the team. He knows he can do that, and and so it's been tough on him. I talked about defense a little earlier, and you know, you were very critical of the defense. Started Pac-12. How much have you seen improvement if at all in the win streak? Well, you know, uh, there's been individual performances that have really, you know, improved our defense. But I think our activity's better uh, defensively. Uh, our rotations are a little better. Uh, you know, when Mike's rebounding like he's been rebounding, it uh, we don't give up as many offensive rebounds, which takes a lot of the pressure off. Um, so there have been a lot of things that, that have improved. Our our perimeter defense always been fairly solid. Uh, we. We've been pretty good against the three all season, uh, but we have had problems protecting the rim and, you know, Wave and then Ben, you know, those performances uh, have really helped in Mike's activity defensively and Elgin's activity defensively. I think Elgin had two blocks the other day coming from the weak side. I thought that activity was pretty good also. Did the press has been a big factor too? Well, it's been a factor. 
Um, we gave up an easy one out of it the other day, which was disappointing because we didn't we didn't get back out of it very quickly. Uh, but yeah, no, it, the press gives us something different that nobody else does. So it uh, it is different. Mike seem lately like Johnny said he seems like Mike seems younger than he was. Does it seem like and during the stretch has he kind of gotten some legs back, or does he seem like physically he's been better? Did he wear down at all in the middle? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I think the season's different for everybody. Uh, you know, he, he put tremendous pressure on himself to play well this year. You know, it's his senior year. He wants to do well. He's back home. Uh, you know, so uh, all guys handle that differently. And, uh, you know, but most of it's self-inflicted. You know, as a coaching staff, we don't change much. You know, we, we encourage. We try to do the same things every day. So there's some consistency there. Um, but Mike has had a bounce in the step. But a lot of that comes just when you're playing good, you know, you got energy. You know, and it's no different. You see our team when we hit a couple shots, everybody bounce around. When, when we miss some shots, and we're too experienced to be like that. Good teams aren't like that, but we still have some of those characteristics. A lot of these guys have only played in a couple civil wars, but when that matchup, when that draw came out, what was sort of the reaction? What is the meaning of, of a civil war in the Pac-12 tournament? I don't know. It was no different than when we played Washington a year ago or Colorado the year before that or Arizona State the year before that. You know, it's our first round game. How much does it help, Dana, that you know the, the urgency the team's been showing, seven wins in a row going into postseason? Should that momentum carry over? Well, it's, it's not a given. Uh, you know, two years ago we'd won four games in a row and six of seven. It didn't help us much there. And uh, last year we lost to really bad games before we went in and won it. Uh, the year before that, we lost two and, won in and, and went in and played very well against uh, Arizona State and UCLA. So uh, last week, the seven-game stretch is done. doesn't mean anything. Uh, this is a whole different thing. Uh, you got to go in and uh, attack it differently because, like I said, the two years we went in awful losses and, and playing very poorly, we went in and, and played much better in the tournament than we did the year that we had won four games and six of seven and, and went in and lost a close one to Colorado. Playing in the playing in the bring out the best in Johnny, you think? Well, he likes it there, you know, uh, and Ben played pretty well. Um, so, you know, they're going home. they got fam family and friends, and, you know, it's something different, unique for them. Uh, to go back there and play in front of everybody. So yeah, I, they'll be fired up to play, but Johnny always is. I don't have to worry about Johnny. And Ben's been a little inconsistent this year, but I think that has more to do with his preparation than, than you know his mental state, because Ben, you know, he wants to do well. So, um, you know, I, I don't think it makes too big a difference, but you know, they, uh, they will get excited. We're gonna go back there and you know, hopefully Johnny will play as well as he did a year ago. Ben had a pretty good tournament, so hopefully it does help him a little bit. What about for you, playing in that atmosphere in Vegas as opposed to the years before in LA? You know, it's a great atmosphere. You know, uh, I think it went over better than the league had even imagined it would. Uh, you know, uh, the attendance was really good. Uh, you know, it made it so much more fan friendly for hotels and the cost. You know, right downtown LA. It's not an inexpensive place to go to a tournament. Uh, and, you know, with Vegas, you've got different places to stay, you know, alternatives, you know. And if, so if you're taking a family of four, you know, you, it's a little easier, you know. And, uh, and, we, and that's what you want. You want to make it fan friendly. And, uh, you know, Utah drove in a bunch of fans. Uh, you can drive L.A., Arizona, you know, so there's... A lot of places that they can drive into pretty conveniently. Uh, we're not one of them, but uh, uh, you know, a lot of people can get there a little bit easier. So, you know, winning makes everything fun. But I just thought it was a great atmosphere last year, and uh, you know, I, th I think the semis were sold out, and then we had a great crowd for you know the finals. So. Um, it's, it's a very good atmosphere, and it worked out very well. MGM was great to us, so uh, hopefully we can stay as long as we did a year ago. Any thoughts on all Pac-12? we got Joe on the second team this year. Yeah, you know, uh, I always tell the guys, uh, 
you know, the spoils kind of go to the winners, you know, and, and we didn't win enough. You know, I thought some of our guys were maybe more deserving, but, you know, uh, I didn't look at the team real close, but I know there's a couple guys from UCLA and a couple guys from Arizona. And, you know, I, I was really surprised C.J. Wilcox wasn't on there, you know. Uh, but Roberto, you know, I, uh, but again, you know, if you don't finish in one, two, and three in the league, uh, I guess we were tied for third, but if you don't finish, you know, uh, we kind of caught up at the end. You know, I'm sure some of the ballots were in before then. So, but our our guys, Mike and Joe and Jason, Johnny, they were all deserving of, of something. I thought Johnny should have been on the all-defensive team. I really do. I, uh, his steals, his you know, I don't know if there's anybody better on the ball than Johnny. So, you know, I was a little disappointed for that. But uh, other than that, you know, uh, it's, I don't look at that stuff very much. We've been talking a lot about your players needing to potentially play four games in four days and the physical toll on them. How about you and your coaching staff? What do you have to do to prepare for four games in four days? That's pretty easy. You know, it's, it's a lot easier as a coach. Uh, just kick it on automatic pilot, and, and uh, fortunately, I have a great staff. Uh, each one of the guys will have an opponent, you know, and uh, I just bounce around. I go to, you know, each one. But I'm all in on Oregon State right now, and uh, you know, one of the other coaches is working on uh, UCLA. If we're fortunate enough to beat Oregon State, then you know, then I'll I'll go to work on UCLA after that ball game, and. So it's really easy, and then another coach is looking at the next round, another coach is looking at the next round, and and um, I'm the only one that you know worries about all of them. So um, we'll be fine if, if we get that opportunity. Uh, you know, that's that's a great problem to have. So I like conference tournaments. Everybody else, you know, they worried about the NCAA tournament. I think conference tournaments are a lot of fun, and uh, you know, I hope our guys are looking forward to it because. I am. Always enjoyed it. Can the team improve or hurt their stock in a conference Well, sure, sure. But, you know, we're not worried about that. We're worried about getting better. You know, uh, if you talk about improve your stock, I, we just want to get better. You know, uh, so, you know, it's, uh, it's important for us to, to go play and keep improving our defense. Our, our execution against Arizona was not very good offensively. A lot of that had to do with their defense, but we still didn't execute. Our movement was really bad. We had some possessions that I had no idea what we were running, you know, and in March, that's, that's not a good sign.